Good afternoon and welcome to today's edition of Glimpses of Grace and Glory. This is Tuesday afternoon, July 27, 2021. I want to talk about such an important topic. We're going to speak about I declare. Now, God declares so many things about our lives. But what are we declaring with our mouth? What are we saying? Are we in agreement with God's declaration? Or are we declaring something totally different? So many times our declaration is based upon our five senses, our physical body. Instead of seeing that we worship God in spirit and in truth, that when we joined up with Christ, our spirits were made perfect. The book of Hebrews tells us by one offering he has perfected forever those that are sanctified. All our sins have been taken away at the cross of Calvary. And as we look at Romans 3, we're going to look at verse 23, and let's read several verses there. It says here for, I'm going to read the NLT because it might be a little clearer. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God and I'm going to just move this with, yet God, with undeserved kindness, declares that we are righteous. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. For God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. So when he didn't punish some of the people before the cross, it's because he was being fair because when Jesus died on the cross, he took away all the sins past from Adam on the future all the way to the last person on earth. He propitiated. Now atonement means to cover. The blood of bulls and goats covered sin temporarily until Jesus came. But Jesus propitiated, that is, he took the sins completely away. Only the blood of Jesus could do that. For he was looking ahead and including them in what he would do in this present time. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness. For he himself is fair and just, and he declares sinners to be right in his sight when they believe in Jesus. So God declares us to be righteous, the very righteousness of God. 1 Corinthians 17 says, 21, 20, down there at the end, the very end of the chapter, we know verse 17 says, if any man's in Christ, he's a new creation. Uh, we're not the old creation anymore. We've been born from above by the Spirit, and we're a brand new creation. He says, For he was made sin for us, that is, Jesus Christ was made sin, that we would be made the righteousness of God in him. Now, God declares that we are the righteousness of God. What do you declare? What do you see? What do you see in yourself? Well, we might look at our physical bodies. We might look at our natural state and say, well, I, uh, I, I look at what myself. Looking at ourself will never be grounds for any encouragement. We have to look at God and look at his word and what he declares. He also declares that I am strong and healthy. With his stripes, I am healed. He declares that in Romans 8, that since the spirit that raised up the dead body of Jesus, as the Holy Spirit dwells in me, he will quicken my mortal body. He declares that I have peace. He said, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. I give you peace. I have peace that passes all understanding. He declares protection, that he will give his angels charge over us to keep in, this, in all our ways. No plague will come to our dwelling. We will not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the air that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness. That is the disease that creeps in the darkness, the, the viruses, the sickness. God declares all this, but are we declaring it? Every day we should speak it with our mouths. I get up in the morning and I put my hands on my wife and I declare that we are one flesh because God said the two shall be one flesh. I declare that we are his righteousness, that in our weakness his strength is made perfect, that we are healed because God says so, that we have peace, that we have protection, and then we declare it for all of our children and grandchildren and for others also. What are you declaring? Get your declaration in line with the declaration of God and declare that you are the righteousness of God and Jesus Christ. 
filled with his spirit, that you have the peace of God that passes understanding, that with his stripes you're healed, that God gives his angels charge over you to protect you, and live in confidence and declare the confidence through Jesus Christ. May God help us all to see this truth and use our mouths to glorify God. Have a blessed day.